Our journey throughout Texas state parks begins in the 1920s in a little town called Moody. Just about a hundred years ago, a legacy was in the works, one that began out of a son's love for his mother and her love for our wild and natural state, a love that Park Superintendent Melissa Chadwick has been carrying on ever since she first came to Mother Neff State Park. So the story of this park and the history of state parks starts with Isabella Neff and her son Pat Neff. Isabella eventually became known as Mother Neff and Pat Neff became governor of Texas and was instrumental in getting the Texas State Parks board started and eventually creating the park as we know it today, Mother Neff State Park. It was one of the first public gathering places in Texas and it was here that, you know, everything kind of began. So we'd like to think that Mother Neff, you know, helped give birth to the entire state park system and that's why she's affectionately known as the mother of Texas state parks. Texas can thank Governor and Mother Neff for not only her namesake park, but for paving the way for every state park to follow. In 1921, Isabella Neff donated the first six acres of land that would become her namesake park. Two years later, her son, as governor of Texas, created the State Parks Board. This staff worked for years to establish our statewide system, seeking natural features and rich history, just like you'll find at Mother Neff. So one of the most iconic features here at Mother Neff State Park is our rock tower. And this served as an observation deck as well as a water tower originally. And this was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps. This is just a really neat spot, great for sunsets. You can really get close to nature up here. So right now we're at Tonkawa Cave and Native Americans, early inhabitants would have been using this as a shelter. So we've got um, this giant cluster of harvestmen behind me. Uh, these have fascinated a lot of visitors and creeped a few of them out from time to time. Over the years, as Melissa Chadwick has become familiar with the harvest men at Tonkawa Cave and the winding roads that run through the park, she's developed a sacred appreciation for the land that started it all. An appreciation that not only comes from her experience as a steward of Mother Neff, but as a mother herself to her own children. I was a new mother with a five-month-old when I started here at Mother Neff, and sometimes I do feel like, you know, this is my second child. <laughs> and she does need a lot of taking care of in TLC. And you want to make that welcoming feel to anybody that visits the park. We want them to feel like this is a second home <laughs> and that they can be here and enjoy it and relax. And, and that's what mothers do. Nearly a century ago, Mother Neff State Park officially became a gathering place for families and friends to share memories. And today, as more and more concrete pours over our state, places like this help us remember what Isabella and Pat Neff knew all along. That areas like this are crucial for preserving the wild nature of Texas. And that sometimes, even Mother Nature needs a motherly touch. As a mother, I want, you know, my child and her children to be able to grow up and be able to experience these wild places. And it's so important that we help protect them and continue the legacy that Mother Neff started and saw as important and that Pat Neff carried on in her wishes. <laughs> <laughs>